Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. This is SMS Limited. Uh, today I'm going to be installing a new product that I got. Uh, it's the Hellwig Tow and Haul Load and Sway Control. Uh, it's an upgraded sway bar. I've been reading a lot of reviews on some of the forums where guys have been installing this on both the standard suspension and the air suspension. And, you know, the results they say makes it just a little bit more stable. Um, you know, when they're cornering, it just has a more planted feel. So, uh, in the box, we've got the sway bar, which seems solid and heavy. It's got three different holes for, I guess, adjusting how firm you want the ride. Uh, it has some simple hardware, a pack of lubricant, and then two of these D bushings. The installation looks super simple. Literally, you just unbolt and then replace this using the existing end links that are on the vehicle already. So, I'm going to... Go under here and dismantle the sway bar that's right there. I guess these end links, we're just going to keep it intact. As you can see, I have the air suspension. So I'm hoping that it will give it just some improvement over, you know, a planted feeling when we're driving, uh, especially when I got these big off road tires, the 33 uh, NATO Ridge Grapplers. Uh, I mean, they ride great. Who knows, let's see if this makes an improvement or if it really is just uh, placebo. But either way, I'm always looking for upgrades on the vehicle. And you know, I still have to do a long-term review on that Pulsar ECU. I've been loving it so far. This is also the carbon full catback exhaust system. I don't think I ever showed the underneath side of it. So while I'm down here, you know, it's a nice little clean setup that they have. Um, I have to do a long-term review on this one too because I've been noticing it's been kind of rattling a little bit or making like a tinning sound when it's when it starts up or on the cold start especially but um, let's take this sway bar apart and then uh, we'll, we'll check back to see mid progress and then I'll try to do some reviews after it's installed I'll be back all right so here's you know halfway through the process um, this is where we're at here. So I, you have to take apart these end links right here. It took me a minute to realize that actually you have to put a socket on the end of this one while you spin the nut and right off of this one. Otherwise the whole thing's just spinning. But the size of it, I used an 18 millimeter open end wrench to hold the nut. And then I used an eight millimeter socket on the end of this and just kind of loosen one from the other. Uh, these ones were pretty easy to take off. I believe it was about a 15 millimeter, but this is where we're at here. This is the last the last little nut to take off. Everything is loosened and it looks like it's just gonna basically drop out of the way and you just slide the bar off of the end links and replace with the new one. So now we have the factory sway bar, as you can see, it's just kind of hanging here. And simple enough to just slide with a little bit of pressure. Probably need two hands to do it, but just pop off the end of this, uh, the end link here. And then we'll go grab that new sway bar, kind of compare the differences of the old and the new, and see where we're at here. A little awkward trying to do this one handed recording and taking this off on the ground, but. Trying to do my best to give you some content here, so I'll be back in a minute. All right, now that we have them both side by side, we can kind of take a look at the differences. So one thing you'll notice is the weight when you pick it up. The new bar seems like it's solid from what I've read online. This is a hollow bar. Um, I wouldn't say it's twice the weight, but significantly heavier than the stock version. Also, the ends here, are definitely thicker if you compare the stock one with the new one and of course you have three different settings from what I understand that gives you different uh, stiffnesses as preferred I've read uh, from other forums most customers are putting them in the middle hole that's what I'm gonna do see if that's too stiff uh, the outer hole is gonna be your socket setting and the most inner will be your firmest ride uh, I, I test fit one of these bushings. It does have a little slit here, so it just slides on. They say to lubricate. 
not really which part to lubricate. I'm assuming it's gonna be the inside where the rubber is on this in case there's movement, but we'll just throw some quick lube on there and then replace it with these new torques that it has. And I do have a torque wrench so that I can torque it down. The recommendations on this are about 25 to 25 to 30 foot pound of torque on the frame and then to just tighten the end links down until they start to bulge slightly. So of course we wanna make sure everything is safe and I'm carrying around people and just for my own safety, but um, yeah, I'll pop, pop this on here and see how that goes. But. All right guys, here it is. This is the final results after installing this Hellwig sway bar. Um, you know, it went on pretty straightforward, putting on the end links. There was not really anything complicated about it. Uh, no, you know, forcing anything into place. Uh, the only slight setback I had is the replacement bolts that come with this are an Allen head. And I had the Allen head, it's actually a 516, but I don't have a bit for my torque wrench to fit that. So I'm gonna have to do that another time. I just cranked it down pretty tight, uh, seems secure, but here it is, uh, you know, for a 45 minute little install, it's not bad at all. Now we'll have to take it on the road, kind of go around some corners, go over some bumps and see if it really did reduce any of that body roll or make it corner a little bit better like some of the reviews are saying. So, um, you know, while I was down here, I also did find out why my exhaust is making some sounds. Seems like, uh, you know, the hangers that the exhaust company or the muffler shop put on there. It's kind of worked its way loose and actually on the other side right here, it's completely slid out. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's good because I was kind of getting a little annoyed with the exhaust because it just started rattling the heck and then it's actually kind of shifted its center over. So it makes sense that, uh, you know, the hanger itself has slid over. That's why the tip has slid over. So I'm gonna have to go to an exhaust uh, muffler shop and see if they can kind of pop this back in. Or seems like the other side, I can just pinch this clip and kind of slide it so that that washer isn't rattling. Cause every time I'd start it up, you'd really hear that rattle. And I thought it was coming from the exact, uh, from the exhaust itself, but it's not. Um, yeah, so another nice little upgrade to the SMS Limited Ram. Um, I'm excited to see what it does and if it makes a difference. And Leave me a comment if there's any questions that you have on it. Uh, I know that we got a lot of comments on the last upgrade I did with that ECU and I still have to do kind of a long-term review. I've just been so busy lately, but uh, I will try to do some reviews on this or maybe get a GoPro and go off-roading and see how you know this acts and um, if there's anything else, any other mods that uh, are out there, I'm always looking for them. I'll try to upgrade anything I can that's reasonable on this uh, truck just for fun. So uh, shoot me a comment and um, smash that subscribe button. Seems like we got a lot of subscribers lately. Uh, not something I'm trying to make like a full-time YouTube career out of, but it's kind of cool to see that you guys are interested in what I'm doing with this car. I might do a separate YouTube video on my Beamer or the Volvo or something else. Uh, seems like you're getting a lot of positive feedback on some of the vehicles so that's the Hellwig sway bar and I'll give it a thumbs up for an easy install definitely a DIY only about 45 minutes of a process a couple bolts no special tools required all right thanks for watching guys I'll give you an updated video hopefully soon